how to use find my shift beginners tutorial step by step hi there you guys in this video i'll be talking about find my shift and how do you start using his services in this video we'll be talking about what find my shift is uh we're also when you'll see the pricing plans and then we're gonna try the demo basically we're gonna view it as a staff later on so first up let's talk about what find my shift is find my ship is a platform for creating staff rosters sending rosters to staff tracking the hours they work and generating payroll data now this app began in 2004 to help manage staff and to give those staff better visibility of their upcoming shift it has been around for quite a long time now 2004 almost 20 years this platform is quite experienced if we're talking about you know it's an employee but by the way the features are really superb you guys i've seen a lot of blogs talking about how good this platform is for managing work and we're gonna see later on if it really translates now next, the pricing plans. They have a free plan, by the way, and you won't have to pay for anything else. Zero dollars a month forever. But the thing is, you'll only have, I mean, you can only work with five team members, one manager, and one week of historical data, one week of forward planning, three week on-screen editor. So unlike the paid versions, we have three paid plan, we have the starter, which costs 25 a month. We have the business, which costs 40. And of course, enterprise, which costs 70. So the starter up to 20 members, business up to 100 members, enterprise 300 members. For starters, you get one manager. For business, you get 100 managers. For enterprise, you get 300 managers. For starter, you get one year of historical data. For business, you get five years for enterprise you get 10 years and for the starter you get three months of forward planning one year for business three years for enterprise for starters you get six week on screen editor for business you get 20 and for enterprise you get 52. So you can see the gap between the free plan and all the paid plans pretty wide right so if i were you you guys if you are willing to shed a small amount of money and if you're looking forward to try find my shift the starter plan is promising now let's check out the demo right here and see what it does to continue select any cell on the roster all right let me click this one now to add a shift type nine to five and press enter so this is the shift nine two five hit enter there you go it's now a lot more specific don't have to put in you know the ellipses the zero zero the am pm yourself just type in nine to five and basically is here now to add a comment type one hour break and press enter add in a comment here one hour break okay there you go to make a copy of your selection press ctrl c ctrl c and then select another cell and press ctrl v another cell ctrl v there you go it won't actually copy be pasted here on the cell itself it'll add in a new cell that's the features that um you can actually access is to not type in a lot of words so that's by the way is a staff view so this is what you see as a staff now as a facility view let's leave this one this is what you see as well so you can see here training day off on call time off this is the view staff view facility view staff view facility view now staff this is where you can see lists of your staff now what can you add here uh, you can add the job, their job title, department, of course, their personal information, their hourly rate, 
and holiday allowance, sick allowance. You can input all of your employees here and then put in their pictures if you want to. Once you hover over their profile pictures, you can also see their faces getting larger. Facilities, uh, the facilities tab are where your facilities are listed basically. You have here kitchen, bar, training, for example, right? Day off, on call. You can click on kitchen. And then you can edit it here if you want to. You can update the facility by clicking this button right here. We also have a notice board. This is where you put in, uh, uh yeah. Um, yeah, the, the things that your employees needed to know. So you can add in a new notice by hitting add a message right over here. And you can input the topic and of course what you want them to do. And then add message. Hit on add message right there. Next is time off. So the time off and record requests is where your employees are going to file their... Um, yeah, time off and of course leave requests like for example Sophie and you can see here how many day offs uh yeah right here type personal display personal and you can see here how many deductions are going to uh, be deducted to your staff you can add a time off by hitting this button right here and just enter the details that you need to enter right here okay next is we have outbox all right so these are your activities by the way right here and you can also send a message by hitting this button right over here so you can uh, choose to send in an email a text or a push message you can either uh, choose one or just tick all of them. So you can input here your message and then you can attach a file if there is like a document needed to be signed. And then you can hit send your messages once you're done. Okay, Let's, let me... We also have your timesheets. Which is, uh, yeah, right here. And we also have settings tab, reports tab. The reports tab, you can check out budgets, hours, time off, shift, step, uh, step by hour, and a lot more. And of course, we have here the settings. So basically, that's an overview of Find My Shift, you guys. So definitely worth checking out if you need like a project or work management app for your business. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope to see you again on the next one. Peace out.